Invocation to the Void by Thomas Ligotti Five candles burned the whole time at the five points of the star. They never went out. The man standing in the middle was tall, his forehead taut. His shirt was once white but had yellowed to reflect the moon in the dark sky above the twisted trees outside the window. Inside there was only that great empty room with the single star, the five candles, and the man. Also there was the book which the man knelt to read at the center of the star, Book of the Damned. It told of other worlds, and the man summoned them. He had visions, visions in the smoke of the candles, in the light of the moon which shone on the dull dark floor of the room. The patterns on the walls swirled in the candlelight and in the moonlight. Whirls bloomed and withered, spun and stopped, flourished and decayed, in the smoke of the candles. But they were all the same. All of them had different colors, just as the one he knew, and different seasons. Each beat like a hunted heart. No more blood, he cried, choking. These worlds merely mimic my own. And again, no more blood. The candles, the moon, the patterns on the wall, and the howling wind heard, and all agreed to welcome him to this other world, which was already theirs. Now it would be his. The flames barely fluttered as he collapsed into the star, his face so white above his yellow shirt and beneath the yellow moon a beautiful bloodless white. How foolish they were who thought he was dead, who buried him in that sticky earth so moist and warm in summer, and dark as blood.